I am gearing up to go run a few errands on the scooter and I thought I'd bring you along with me. So how exactly did I end up start even riding a scooter and then what keeps me on it? Before I totally get rolling into the story, I want you to look around and see if you notice a pattern as I'm driving around. And no, I'm not gonna roll up like on the Grand Canyon or anything cool in the background, but still, if you were watching and not just listening, this is one of those like tests. We haven't been formally introduced. My name is Renee, and today I'm out riding Marisa. That's the 2020 buddy kick. I'm a mom to a teenager. I also am stepmom to two adults now. I work in data in a very corporate environment. Don't think tech, we have no ping pong tables. <laughs> think a sea of cubicles. And let's just say that I have no friends, before this at least, that ride scooters. How did this even start? I can tell you that before, I guess two years ago, if you had said, Renee, you should go get a motorcycle. I would have said, no, that's ridiculous. And yet here I am. <laughs> it all started with a trip to Vegas. So we go to Vegas with some friends and the couple that we were with on this electric kick scooter art tour. And I'm like, okay, I don't really care about scooters, but cool, uh, I'm game. It's Vegas and we're having a good time. So I go on it and oh my word, I fell in love. It was a Segway 9 bot and I can't even remember how fast they went up to, but I absolutely fell in love and as did my husband. We're in Vegas, so we're staying up late. And you'd think that it would be to like party it up, negative ghost rider <laughs> we were up late trying to figure out what type of scooter to buy and they were an electric kick scooters by the way so we didn't realize that they were as expensive as they were with reviews about unreliable battery life over the course of months and i had talked myself into like commuting on electric kick scooter so i live in the suburbs of houston my job is eight miles away and I don't have to hit on a freeway. But after reading the reliability issues, I'm like, how many, like, will I end up having to walk to work at some point? Like, I run, but I don't really want to walk eight miles before work. <laughs> or some portion of it when I don't expect to, I guess. Anyway, I was totally discouraged. And I was like, well, I mean, I don't want to waste the money though. Couldn't figure out, couldn't pull the trigger on anything. So we come back from Vegas, still mulling it over. Well, I don't know how I did it, but I ran across the, you know, the whole two wheel motor scooter situation here. At the time though, I didn't know that they were called scooters. I actually thought that they were called Vespas. Not that like Vespa was a brand, but Vespa was the mini motorcycle in my head. Uh, I didn't know if I'd even be into that. So I mentioned it casually to my husband. I'm like, hey, thinking about taking the motorcycle uh, safety course to decide if I want to ride one and he absolutely lost it with excitement. <laughs> it was kind of cute uh, but it kind of freaked me out. So it's a two-day course um, and they're, if you're lucky and you want to get into scooters some of them offer scooters as part of the field work and so I had to drive over an hour away so that I could you know, ride a scooter. That was super important to me at the time because in my head they were not motorcycles, but yes they are. Anyway, so I signed up for the course. They start at like seven something in the morning. You are not allowed to be late. And so I'm getting up at <laughs> crack of dawn or before. And it was amusing as heck because my husband was up before me making coffee, making breakfast, like he was just so giddy, like, oh, right, my wife is going to ride. And I guess I should preface it with, he had a, I think it was a Harley Dyna at the time. And so he was like super stoked to have me on two wheels with him, even if it was in this regard. So it was super cute. So anyway, I signed up for the course and I was actually kind of skeptical. I mean, that's why I'm not going out and buying one right away. Like I wanted to try it out. 
So I try it out and I'll be dang. It was okay, but it's a little really nerve wracking after day one. And I, I remember driving home kind of freaking out myself. Like, oh my gosh, he's gonna expect me to ride. And I'm like, can I see myself riding? Like, I don't know. So anyway, I get my license. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I go down to look at the Kimco like. The dealership had genuine scooters and Kimcos. And so I was able to look at both there since they were both in my top three. The Buddy 170, the Buddy Kick, and the Kimco Lite 150i. I get to look at them all, but I'm really there just to buy the Kimco. And I sit on it and I'm like, nope. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with that scooter, but you know how when you get a vibe and you're like, this is not the right one for me? That was what happened. I ended up uh, ordering a kick. I had to wait for the right color to come in. The color is important to me. I couldn't go home with an orange, but I wanted to be seen. I wanted people to turn their heads and be like, ah, that's so cute. That's how I got riding scooters. I swear, if you had asked me before, I would have been like, nope, not gonna happen. I decided to hop online and start talking about scooters because I love the dang thing so much. And that's really where the YouTube idea came from. It was like, how can I get other people to love scooters as much as I do? And I know that they do in other parts of the world, but uh, here's that part about the pattern. Have you seen even a motorcycle at this point? Nope. <laughs> and scooters are even more rare. So it's definitely not common and we are super spread out. We basically live, it's a city that requires you to have a car to get anywhere. There is no public transit outside of the middle of Houston. But I had no idea how many skills I would have to learn in order to share this stuff online. So this is my first foray into a moto vlog. I have no idea if it's even gonna turn out. <laughs> So if you like this even a little bit, toss me a like and let me know to keep trying to work through my issues here. If it is not your speed, by all means, you can either let it go or toss me some feedback or say, nope, not my thing. And that is cool. I certainly know I can't please everyone. That said, if I can help with scooter love online, I'm all about it. So this is why I love riding. Like I'm literally going to run errands. I'm actually going to go buy a pair of running shoes and pick up some groceries for the family. And that's why I'm hopped on the scooter. I've got a roll bag on the back and of course the underseat storage and then I've got a backpack. So I'm ready to be semi-loaded up here. But I'm going to get these running shoes because all of my hobbies are outdoors it seems. So I'm inside all day long. And do you see how absolutely gorgeous this day is? This is my lunch break. It's a day I work from home. Super fortunate that I can do that a little bit. But do you see how gorgeous this is? Like, is this not energizing? So I do this monotonous math, models, algorithms, artificial intelligence, machine learning, whatever term you happen to know, that's what I do. So things like this, riding scooters, are an awesome hobby to escape some of that monotony. It's actually a super good day. No, I haven't had any like strange cutoffs or anyone rude. It's been a great ride. <laughs> I'm a cautious risk taker. So my friends and family, well, they thought I was nuts, but they're like, well, she knows what she's doing, you know, plus I'm grown, but uh, <laughs> they just kind of go with it. But, uh, you know, you wear your skate safety gear, right, Renee? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Hello gloves. Yeah, so they just think I'm nuts. I can't quite convince any of my other friends or family to hop on one. I did have a friend at Run Club once uh, hop on and at least ride in the parking lot. So that was interesting. Shout out to you, Debbie. And like I said, I'm just going to run errands. I'm doing the mom thing, running a household. <laughs> but is this not way cooler and more refreshing? And this is like where I live, so it's day in, day out. But there is just something about getting on the two wheels more exciting than trying to do all this in a car. The other thing that I absolutely love about the scooters is how cheap they are. Like I've got a genuine buddy kick. Uh, I think I paid just over 3,000 for it. 
can't quite remember off the top of my head but it was actually on the higher side it was more than the you know Kim Kolak and the lances and things like that it's not Vespa either but uh it was just cheap that and some rain gear and honestly with my eight mile commute I could do that every day it's tough though with a 15 year old he doesn't really uh fit on the back of the scooter with his trombone but I mean it's super affordable and the insurance is insane insanely cheap I absolutely love scooters and if you're not already riding one check out this safety video here I feel like the more you learn about it the more comfortable you comfortable you will be when it's time for you to straddle one and again, let me know what you think. I'm sure I will get better. I just need some time, but only if it matters to you.